What's up, man? It's cloudy. Huh? What? What's up? Hey, Buster. Huh? What? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Yeah. What's going on? Say hi to the people. I'm not awake yet. What do you got? What do you got? Yeah? Come on, buddy. What do you you were running around this morning? Oh, that's too much, huh? That is just that was it right there. You got the part. You got the part. Oh shit. Really biting today, huh? Look, man, I'm your only friend, pal. I'm your only friend, pal. Come on, buddy. I didn't start the fight. You started it. You started it. You you started it. Okay. You good? You all right? You all right? Buster? 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 Okay. Good job. Good show. Great job. Oh, shit. Why can't it just fucking rain, man? Someone brought a plant over. It's called a, uh, Sensitive plant. I don't know what that means. Do you? Uh, that's where it's going to be. Okay. Boom. I'm sorry if I tend to use these first couple of minutes as a mirror, but that's what's going on. <sighs> that shit is building up out here, man. Look, I'm not, it's like I'm not some sort of hot sauce depot. All right, you know, because I like that guy hopping hot sauce. I appreciate, I'm not going to complain, but this guy, Joey, Joey's hot sauce. He sent me like four hot sauces that I guess he makes, I'm assuming, in a professional environment. Um, pretty good. And then somebody sent me a bottle of Inner Beauty, which I didn't even know existed anymore. Like a Caribbean hot sauce, pineapple, mango, mustardy, hot, habanero. And we used to get that when we were younger. Back in the day. Back in the hot sauce days. You remember the hot sauce days? Back in Somerville, Massachusetts. But thank you. Thank you for the hot sauces. First sip of coffee. Pow! I shit my pants. Some of you know what that is. I don't know some of you. I don't know where some of you come from. I don't know who you are. You don't seem to know me. Where do you come from? 
Use whatever option you have at your disposal to maintain your sanity without hurting yourself or others. Too close? Go fuck yourself. Is this too close? You can go fuck yourself. Good morning. Is that what? That's what I meant to say. Oh, I meant to say good morning. Is, um,. It's fucking bullshit. I meant to say, it's going to be okay. I am terrified. I meant to say, um, what's for breakfast? No whales, the Netherlands. It's crazy. Orange County, get out. Get out. What books am I reading? Right now, nothing. I'm not reading anything. I'm barely doing anything. I do my podcast. I interview people. I watch uh, things I want to watch. I try not to freak out about everything. Yesterday, I seemed to go down a rabbit hole with my records, which was nice. Listen to a lot of music. Um, did I write anything down? No, it's just, it's like, it's daunting. It's kind of daunting in a way. It's weird realizing that, like, you know, not having somebody around just for, you know, mundane reassurance. Passive reinforcement. Someone to help you. Just get out of your patterns of garbage for one second. Just to say like, hey, um, can I eat this? Or, um, yeah, it's going to be okay today. That's not happening today. Do you want to go shopping? Just stuff like that. You look good. You look good. Left to your own devices. You just get right back into the trenches of you. I'm deep in the trenches of me. Holding the line against things only I can see. The enemy is myself and I'm dug in. You? Too close? Huh, fuckers? This thing doesn't bounce like it used to. That's good. Oh. I don't play any video games, man. Come on, I cooked. I like to cook. And like, I know, like, I I look at Twitter a little bit and then I'll look at the news a little bit, but I I don't know where one gets immersed in this uh, chaotic and insane propaganda assault on some poor drug addicted guy. Man, I hope Hunter's got some good meetings to go to. Um, The hypocrisy of the propagandists and, you know, the minions, the millions of fucking bots and trolls and guys who think this is some sort of team sport in fucking purgatory and hate themselves and everybody else. To go after some guy's drug-addicted kid is... I did get my cookies. I got the cookies Chan sent me. What's my favorite perfume? I don't fucking know from perfume. What kind of world do you think I'm living in? I wear patchouli. I have for 30, 40 years, probably. 35 years because of Lauren, the sculptor. But uh, I don't know from perfumes. And I'm not wearing much because I'm not going anywhere. There's nobody to smell nice for.
hippie. I guess I'm a hippie. I don't know. It's a nice oil. I mean, what am I going to wear? What isn't a hippie? You wear an oil, you're a hippie. But if you wear like Aramis or Polo, those are the ones I remember. Dudes wearing cologne. I wear nothing. No deodorant, no fucking nothing. Because um, that was a big bunch of self-ownership. It's not cold brew. I drink hot coffee out of a pint glass. Welcome aboard. What day is it? Monday? Congratulations. You made it. A lot of people didn't make it. Fentanyl, suicide, natural causes. They're not up yet. That's the best option out of that list. Not being awake yet. Hi, karate. English leather. <laughs> Am I a curry fan? Yeah. yeah I love uh, Indian food. How's the... Uh, what's my exercise routine? Welcome. What are you doing? I do circuit training here at the house with a woman named Megan. And it's hard. I do like three to four sets... Of, exer of exercises in a row of three to four exercises. Dracar Noir. Oh, yeah, man. I don't make mole. Baba Ganesh is pretty easy. I'm still not totally... I'm, I don't think... Uh, I don't think it's mine is great. It's pretty good. Fuck it, man. I've been spiraling since that goddamn ice cream. Hey, today's Patty Smith on the podcast. Yeah, Dean got ACDC today. He was so excited about it, nervous, and, you know, it was quite an ordeal for Dino to interview those cats because, you know, they were in Australia. He had to do an interview at, like, 2 in the morning with Brian and Angus. But it's a big deal because Dino loves ACDC. Who doesn't love ACDC? My problem with the ACDC thing is I, I kind of drop off, you know, after Back in Black. It's kind of a Bond guy. And I don't know if I ever fully accepted um, Brian what are you going to do Dean was definitely the right guy for the job and I think he interviewed all of them you know now Malcolm's dead but Jesus Christ all those Bon Scott records fucking great I guess I got a new record out it's old guy record month the boss has got a record out people are saying it's the best ever is it a lot of people are saying good things about that Chicago 7 movie is it good I don't know and then you realize how publicity works. Whose opinion is it, really? What do they got going on? It's very hard. I've seen, I saw the best actors of our generation trying to transcend those fucking hippie outfits. That's a tough go, man. Tough period to depict without going... <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It's good. Pants look good. Hair's perfect. Hair's perfect. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's good. Yeah, I did see the Chicago 7 movie. I saw it weeks ago on a press release. Um... couldn't get past the uh, outfits and the ages of some of the people the story's great should read the story it was hard okay hold on it's just these fucking trolls they just changed their names but they are annoying somebody you guys one of you can send me it Because 
some of these idiots I gotta take off. Um, yeah, I've interviewed Sasha. That was great. Okay, look, man, it's like, it's, it, we're all home. We've all got to watch things. We're all on a fucking nostalgia trip. You know, all, everything is just trying to, in your brain, kind of reassure you that things are going to something, you know, somehow return to something we understand. And I don't know if that's the case. Whatever's being made now is being made under incredible duress. It doesn't seem fun. Uh, and I don't really know how to even look at it. But most of what we're taking in is pre-plague, pre-election stuff. And I think it gives us a false sense of hope that there's some normalcy available. Everybody seems to have adapted to this fucking plague and we're doing what we can do to sort of sustain our lives. Many people are not sustaining their lives. It's not going well for a lot of people. It's terrible. It's a fucking nightmare. It's been mismanaged by this particular management team. And uh, you know, thousands are dying and there's no sort of way out and the economy isn't going to turn around but we sit around and we watch old movies and we think it's wonderful because it's our option but I think they provide some sort of false sense of return some sort of malignant nostalgia that somehow we're going to transcend and return to something as opposed to just appreciate the fucking trauma of the beginning of the decline of what we knew and loved the end of history good morning what did I say I meant to say good morning I get the pen out. Yeah, comfort, but, you know, comfort, sure, comfort, malignant comfort leads to denial and then, you know, utter disappointment and existential crisis. It's, I guess, like, I guess some people are able to take in what's happening. I have a hard time with it. I'm fucking stuck in my house. A lot of people are stuck in their house. What's really happening? And then depending what fucking news hose you use to drench yourself in garbage water, um, you know, what are you really seeing? Are you being told there's 25,000 pictures of, you know, Hunter Biden sort of doing crack with a blowtorch or Joe Biden with Photoshop pictures of children, fucking monsters that create and generate this stuff? Or are you being told that, you know, like, look at these poll numbers. It's 150% in favor of, wait, that's a big number. I mean, who the fuck knows, man? Brace yourselves. On a lighter note, hopping hot sauce is fantastic. It is, right? And those, um, I know there was part of me like, you know, I, I maybe I saw one or two of those. Biden pick the hunter picks. I don't get I don't get into a rabbit hole, but you know, the monster in me was like, he had a pretty good time. And I'm sure he paid for it. The, pro the the issue is is like there's a lot of very stupid people that don't understand how, you know, managing the bureaucracy or reconfiguring a government that is functional would probably be a good thing. People are like, but Biden's this, Biden's that. It's like, yeah, I, I get it. But he's also a fucking guy who knows how to uh, put together a team. New management. That's not an un-American idea. We just need new management. And we need to be fucking set free from this horrendous, abusive relationship with a fucking dark, bottomless, immoral, narcissistic pig person. Because it's exhausting. And I haven't read that, no. I have not tried to get him. They want to watch it burn. It's burning. I mean, if they want to watch it burn, I get it. Who wants to? You mean the the hate kids? The army of unfuckable hate nerds? Who would see this as some sort of demonic game and their lives aren't going to change much because they got nothing but contempt and porn and Minecraft and the ability to 
sway the minds of old people who don't understand their computers? All I know is Mogador, Mark Stoller, Mogador, I think is the name of that restaurant. I think it's on, it's down on the bottom of 9th, 8th or 9th, like between 1st and A. Is it on St. Mark's? Mogador. Yeah, the one in the, in the city though. It's great. Um, but yeah, man. I haven't watched the uh, Kreischer show. It's on St. Mark's. Okay, yeah, St. Mark's between like 1st and A. What time is it? I love talking to Patty Smith. I can't even quite explain it to you. Fortunately, talk about negativity, maybe some positive shit. Okay. I ate peanut butter out of the jar last night. I took a spoon, put peanut butter on it, dipped it in honey, and ate it. And that was only after I, I put it on crackers with date syrup, and that didn't work. You see what happens with the fucking ice cream? It opens up a fucking portal in me, and it takes me a fucking week to reel in the sugar and carb fucking monster. Because, like, late at night, it's sort of like, well, what am I doing? What are my options? I'm tired. I've already watched what I wanted to watch. I listened to what I wanted to listen to. I don't think I want to jerk off. Why not eat a bunch of fucking garbage before I go to bed? How's that for happy shit? But you know what? I was doing that before the pandemic. That's old school. Old school sober behavior. What's the buffet of options I have that won't ruin my life? Well, but there's also this area. It's like they won't ruin your life, but they might clog your fucking, they might clog your pump. They might clog your pump down the line. I didn't want to do more ice cream. So now we, that's me weaning myself off the ice cream. Bought fucking pita bread from my baba. You got, I think you got to hand, hand squish the baba, man. Don't, you know, don't food process the baba. Chocolate milk issues. I can't really do milk. Never have been able to. For some of us, that is the addiction. Yeah, I, I get it, man. I understand. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't trivializing food issues because I have them. I have them bad. Because my mother, my mother has food issues. And she's made a life out of it. It's her life. Too close? Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, look at that. I, walnuts stop sugar craving. Yeah, but then you get fucking sick of walnuts. How quickly does one get sick of walnuts? And they're just full of fat. There's no way out of this shit, man. This is just a fucking circuitous thing. Then you go running up a hill. That's so I can eat the ice cream or the walnuts or the fucking no sugar chocolate. What? How, how much exercise do I have to do that will enable me to eat like a fucking pig all the time? And then you realize, oh, I'm fucking 57 years old. This shit is running out. My body aches. I can't take the weight off like I used to. But how skinny do you want to be at 57? Do you want to look a gaunt? Do you want to be like, do you want to look like 65? Is that the optimum? Look at me. I'm so skinny, mommy. Who the fuck cares? We should all be doing whatever we want to do right now. Because soon our neighbors are going to kill us. I'm sorry. Did that get weird at the end? I'm not doing fruits. I'm not doing sugar. All right? I'm not doing it. 
I'm fucking off. I'm not buying dates anymore. I look like a meth head. Thank you. That's what. That's 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 the nicest thing you can say to a fucking person with body dysmorphia. You look like you have cancer. Oh, thank you. No, I'm just I'm just lean. Are you dying? No, just exercising a lot. <laughs> Do I want to get all jacked up and muscular? No, it's never going to happen. I can't get my body fat down like that. And I'm also not willing to do the work. I'm fine with my body in terms of muscles. That's true. Yeah, I don't look like a meth head. I have all my teeth and my hair is not splotchy. And my skin doesn't have that weird white yellow pallor. My eyes aren't jacked. Mm. Eggs. Bodies are overrated. That's fucking for sure. I can't eat a lot of eggs because of the cholesterol. The cholesterol. Be one of those old guys with the six pack. You know when you see an old guy with the six pack? Like all you can really do is be like, wow, you're really at the gym a lot. Like that's your whole life, that six pack, right? That's all you do. That's all you think about. Look at all that. Just little muscular knots of fucking mortality fear. That six pack is not going to save you. When God takes his two fingers and slams them into your head and pulls your soul out of your body and eats it and the digestive system decides where it's going to go. That's how my God works. He's got an eating disorder as well. What are my thoughts on Hamilton? I enjoyed it. Lin-Manuel Miranda is a big fan of WTF and it was a very exciting night when he... Um, invited me to see Hamilton in New York. Some of you know that story, but I can tell it. He knew exactly where I was sitting because, you know, those are the seats that they give the guests. And when the cast for Hamilton came out at the end to bow, he looked right at me from the stage and went, Boomer lives. That was a nice moment. And then I went backstage and met him and met the fellas and then probably insulted him a bit when I said, Structurally, it seems like Jesus Christ Superstar. Is that true? Do you see that? And he's like, you know what? It is kind of that. Oh, Hamilton, Ontario? I thought you meant the uh, play. Got a good story, though. Um, I'm, I'm not as fond of Hamilton, Ontario. I didn't mind it. People get worked up that I said stuff about... Uh, Dean is here? Dude, I plugged it. What do, you, what, what do you need, man? I plugged it already. Do you want me to plug it again? Dean Delray. <laughs> I'm doing everything I can, man. We're going to get him over there, bud. We're going to get him over there. Dean Delray talked to uh, ACDC on Let There Be Talk today. Is that, is that good, Dean? Are we, are we doing it? Do you want me to... Hold on. Hey, for anybody who's walking by, Dean Delray has ACDC on Let There Be Talk today. It drops today. He talked to all of them. I, look, I don't... Don't look at me. All right. Fucking dude. It's out there. It's it's out here in the neighborhood, man. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. This is the big one. This is your Obama, bud. It's gonna, everything's going to change after this, pal. <laughs> is it... Everybody, like network, just go out. Go out. Shout. Shout it out. I'm angry as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. And ACDC is on Let There Be Talk. I'm angry as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Dean Del Rey has ACDC today. It's all changing now, buddy.
Oh, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Dean Del Rey has ACDC. Yeah, I was listening to Ry Cooter's first record. And I do, I've heard, um, I heard, uh, I heard that Paradise and Lunch is a good one. That's what Blake Mills said. Dean Del Rey's here. He's over, over, across the way. Do I like ACDC? Did you just get here? How many times I gotta fucking repeat myself? Um, I love ACDC. I love them. You've just called your mom and told her. Connect with Dean. I talked to him. I connected with Dean yesterday. Dean, you want to go? You want to go uh, hiking tomorrow? Ry's a fucking genius. He's a wizard. Can we talk, please talk about Thin Lizzy and Phil? Sure. We were, um... You just told your mailman, great, get it out there, man. Get it out there. We're mad as hell and we're not going to take it anymore. And fucking Dean... I haven't listened to the new Petty. I don't know why I'm not that... Okay, so we'll go hiking tomorrow. I'll text you normal, Okay. All right. Man, just racking up those numbers. Everybody wants to hear those stories. Let's get back to... Um, Dweezil emailed me yesterday. That was very nice. He's a very nice man. Just checking in. It was a few days ago. Sorry, that was kind of name droppy. I got nothing against Hamilton, Ontario. Do whatever you, you have to do. Use whatever options you have at your disposal to maintain your sanity without hurting yourself or other people, okay? Fuckers. Too close? Too close. This? Too close? Um, have I been hiking with Kevin? He came once. Kevin Christie? He came once. Maybe twice. Got a little winded. You guys, you guys stick in it. Um, the two close shirts. Thanks to Cat, who gave me the idea. I just sent her a book, and then I got in touch with the photographer who chose the pictures that were taken with my camera. <laughs> Purchased the art, and um, they're they're happening. What about Kevin Hart? I interviewed Kevin Hart before he got famous. Um, we're not doing the name thing. WTFpod.com slash episodes. <sighs> Hamilton, Ontario. Look, somehow I upset people by telling them the truth. Good luck. I hope it comes back together as a functioning place that people enjoy. It looks like it's on the precipice of gentrification or that there's some effort in doing that, but that's not always a good thing. It seems that the streets are, of Hamilton are just insane with all kinds of, you know, class disparity, sickness, drug addiction, poverty, yet there are some blocks that seem nice, and I'm sure it was a nice place, and that, you know, back when the mill was working or the steel plant or whatever it was, it was probably a real generator of middle-class culture. But the version I saw of it was a little intense, exciting, and, uh, and, and scary in some places just because of the uh, human pain and desperation countered against or put up against the desire to make it, you know, livable again. I've seen it's happened in this country a lot. It's a very weird balance. You know, what do you do? How do you help the people that can no longer hang on in the city that have been there for generations uh, without just pushing them out and expecting them to re-enter the ecosystem as fish or uh, strange night creatures? 
I don't know. That's a government issue. Good luck with it. Um... I, it's it's not quite Detroit. Canada is like a different. It's a different thing up there because they have a different system in place, and I don't I don't get the sense that Canada is anywhere near as violent as this fucking shit heap we have here, where you can pretty much assume that one out of three people have a firearm, and uh, and the desperation and insanity is. It seems to run a little deeper. Um, but I don't know. I really, I don't know uh, how, how it works, but, you know, Canada is an entirely different system. And I think some of the the, the result of not having a core capitalist free market shit show has made uh, Canadians more practical people and more pragmatic people and people that you know can accept life differently than we do here because there's not the paralyzing fear of not succeeding or being stranded without health care I think it makes a big difference Um, it seems like some people on the uh, comment board. I was. I just see one comment go by that says, um, "But here's the thing, though." And I'm like, "Wow, there's some heavy shit going on on the comment board while I'm rambling." Yeah, I know that. I I've heard. I don't know the history of Canada. Yes, there there is a very big problem with the indigenous people. Yeah, we have that in our history too really did a fucking number on them. And I know it's ongoing. Manifest Destiny's a motherfucker. Um, how are my potted trees? Mark's a comedian. Sometimes... My trees are okay. I, you know, I could probably water those lemon trees, but I don't think we need to do that. Would that give you hope today? Would that give you hope? Go to bed. Who are you talking to, pal? I got you. Um, what day is today? What's that noise? What is happening? Street cleaner. Yeah, it was great talking to Lewis Black. Good morning from San Diego. What's up? Um, yeah, it is a street sweeper. But why don't they have alternate sides of the parking? I mean, like, what is this? Just some sort of empty ritual? I mean, you have parking rules if you're going to clean the fucking street with a truck. I'll abide by them. This guy's just kind of half wandering around in and out in between parked cars. It's like, doesn't anyone give a shit? I mean, you know, I'm a big boy. I can abide by parking rules if you're really going to clean the streets up. I mean, what the fuck, man? I'll water plants. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Louis Black is uh, a friend and a good, good, good laugh. We have some good laughs. I like to, you know, it's nice to talk to Lewis and let people hear how he is, um, um, you know, as a person. What was my favorite thing about shooting easy? Oh, ow. Oh, man. It's happening, folks. It's fucking happening. Um, I liked uh, I liked it all. I like the improvising. I gotta get ready to work out soon. Do something. 
Well, fuck it. I'll, I'll water a plant. I don't give a shit. It needs to be done. These new things seem to be good. I've only been in there like a few days, but it seems to be okay. I did not plant this, all this stuff. This was here when I got here. But um, it, it feels like it should be raining with this sky like this, but it doesn't do that here. Look at, look at, look at the weird hose. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. This is the fucking entertainment you signed up for. This is it. This old table came from my old house. These are potted lemon trees that I, I just don't want to deal with it. Oh, uh, this is nice. I can hear the plants. They're so excited. Oh, yeah. Sad lemon tree. But not... Hold on. Whoa. Come on, man. Let's go. Oh, come on. Serious, man. Fucking hoses. Right? Uh, here we go. All this stuff was here when I got here. This is a sad kumquat tree with sad kumquats on it. Aw. Uh, but it's in a pot. I don't know why it's in a pot. All right, that ought to do it. These are fucking filthy. Ugh, who's gonna sit on this shit? Nobody sits out here because there's nobody here but me. When am I just gonna come out here and sit in all the fucking chairs I bought? Okay, you ready, you guys? Here comes the best part. Let's try to, let's try to get the optimum thrill out of this. All right, you ready? Hold on. Okay, you ready? You ready? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, oh no. I don't wanna, that scares me. Oh. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's go, what time is it? Let's go see that fiddle tree, how that's doing. This is the most exciting thing, really. This was sent when Lynn died, and I just stuck it in the ground. And uh, it's really growing nicely. And fucking Magical said, it, those are impossible. But nope. It's nice. All right, I have to go uh, roll out my something muscle. The incredible shrinking hose. Who hasn't had that happen? Am I right? <laughs> Come on. Just admit it. It's okay. It doesn't mean anything. It's not your night. Records. I don't think I've gotten any new records. Yeah, we checked out Buster. Those are supposed to be grown inside. I know, but I did not do that. I put it in the ground outside. What kind of plant is that? Okay, first buster. That I'm not. Like, we're not rolling out the hip together. That's that's not. Uh, that's not something that's happening. It's like my mother used to say when the family was together. She would say at some point, "This togetherness is killing me." Time to roll out your hose. Yeah, 
Well, maybe later. Fiddle, fiddle leaf fig. It'll do great outside. Thank you. Yeah. What's up? Buster. You just waiting there? Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here, bud. What? Come here. Don't play games. Yeah. We're bookending it, Buster. You're bookending it. Beginning and end, buddy. Hey, this togetherness is killing me. This togetherness is killing me, right? It's just me and you, 700 some odd people, huh? What's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah. Poor Buster, this cat's got it better than people. Huh? Yeah, buddy. We have a tough love situation here, right, pal? We have boundaries, right? You're an asshole most of the time. And uh, I'm defensive, right? Yeah. Okay? Okay. All right, you guys. Keep it together. I'll try if you try. Bye.